<clears throat> Hello. What I thought I'd do in this tutorial is continue a little bit from what we did yesterday with scripting functions. Except this time I'm going to show a very particular way of making a function. I'm going to use functions to create a timer. So um, after a certain amount of in-game time, uh, a thing happens, basically. So I'm going to have it be so a, a stage of a quest is set after that amount of time. But yeah, it could be basically anything you want. So I'm going to create a quest for it first. So I'm going to right click new. And I'm just going to put timer tutorial quest as its ID, give it priority 45 and I'll leave it start game enabled and run once and all that stuff could all stay as exact, exactly as it is. Timer. So we're going to go into the timer tutorial quest and we're going to want to write a new script where we um, A, create our function and B, uh, make our timer actually do something. So I'm going to add and I'm going to create an entirely new script for this. So I'm going to click new script, OK, and we're going to give it a title. I'm just going to call it uh, timer tutorial script and all the rest of that is fine. And I'm just going to hit cancel on that. And I'm going to right click and edit the source. And so now we're going to um, take our script and I've already written it in advance. But I'll explain what all of it does. So I'm just going to copy this first part. And I won't include this in the description because for some reason YouTube won't let me put brackets in the descriptions. But I'll put a little uh, annotation on the screen. So this first thing is it's the same thing as we did in the last tutorial. Function. And then I've given it a name which is just start tutorial timer. And it doesn't need to have start or timer in it. This is just the name I've given it so we can be very clear exactly what this function does. And that is start tutorial timer. And so then what we've done here is I've done start timer game time, which is our our function. This is what's going to happen when our function runs. And then this first number, I've chosen five. This is going to be how long, uh, how many in-game hours this timer runs for. And I've chosen five hours. And then this little number one, this is going to serve as the ID for our timer. So that we can create multiple ti multiple different timers within a quest, within this, the same script. And it won't kind of confuse the, uh, well, I'll show you in a second, but it won't confuse the, uh, the scripting. So now I'm going to do a second thing. And the second thing is we're adding an event here. So event on, on timer game time, brackets int timer ID. So this, me this on timer game time means essentially when our timer is complete. And I put this int timer ID, so I've created a, its own little, uh, little variable here timer id and i put if timer id equals one so if it's uh timer number one self as quest so basically what that is is it's call it's calling on the um request that this script is contained within set stage and i put i, I should have put 20 here uh it doesn't matter about 90 or 20 set stage 20 end if and end event so this will just run through once and I'm just going to hit save now, right, control S, and yeah, that's all saved nicely. And so again, at the moment, this doesn't do anything because I've not set up any stages. So I'm going to go and create my stages now. So my stages, I'm just going to have them just be kind of isolated, empty stages that don't do anything. But I'm assuming for in, in your mind, you have somewhere specific you want to use this. So for when you want to start your time it works exactly the same as calling functions like we did in the last quest so i'm going to do the kmy quest method because it's stored within the script function is stored within my quest so i can just do kmy quest dot start tutorial timer open back close brackets so i've just called on the function that we made there so when stage 10 is set it runs the function start tutorial timer which you can see here means that once that function starts a timer, which is five, and it's timer number one. And then when that timer runs out, it's going to be setting stage. It still says 90 in this text version, but it will be setting stage 20. And so we'll want, like, we'll want a thing to happen now. So I'm just going to do, um, I'm just going to uh, add, some, add some caps to the player. Uh, so I'll do some, create a property to do that. Add property, 
I'm going to add a misc item property. This is misc object. I'm just going to call it caps001 so that it automatically points to the object caps001. I'm going to put game dot get player open brackets close brackets dot add item open brackets caps 001 comma 100 and then get a compile and that's worked nicely. So now what will happen is when stage 10 is reached, which is actually unreachable in this, in this case because I've not set up any way to reach it, but I'll when I come to demonstrate it, I'll use console commands to set it. It will then begin running the timer. Then after the timer has gone five in-game hours as defined by this first uh, thing here. The event on timer game time will run. And because it's int timer ID 1, uh, the quest which the script is contained in, or self as quest, will set stage 20. And as we can see here, stage 20 is for game.getplayer.addItem. It'll give you some money. Now I've not actually tested this on anything lower than one hour. So I don't know if you can do 0 0.5 or 0 0.1 or, or anything like that. I've not actually tested it, but it's something there, uh, you know, you could give a you could give a try. And this will go, you know, you could set this to days and days. You could set, you know, 48 hours, 72 hours, as long as long as you wanted, and it would be that amount of in-game time. So I'm just going to jump into the game now, and I'll demonstrate that working. Okay, so I'm in the game, and I'm going to set up stage 10 of our quest, and then I'm going to wait five hours. So I'm just going to do set stage. Um, it's 05000, I think F99, 10. Alright, there'll be nothing to indicate that we've done that successfully. I should have put something like an objective to show up or something. But we're just going to go and have a bit of a sit down. If we had a good supply of clean water, things would be pretty good. I hope you realise how much... How do people live in the Commonwealth before I came around and gave them all clean food and water? Like sometimes you found you get settlements and they don't even have it. There we go. The bottle caps have been added, so that means stage 20 has been set, and um, that means that our timer ran correctly because our timer was responsible for setting stage 20. So that's it. That's all you've got to do. It's a nice, simple little, uh, simple little trick you can do with functions. Like I said, I've never tried it for any less than one hour. Any less than one hour. I've tried it for one hour and had it work successfully. But um, it's up to you to experiment, see what stuff you can do. You could do anything with that. But um, yeah, basically, uh, yeah. Hope that was clear. Hope that was useful. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.